everyone. This week's video is about a TV series I discovered on Netflix. I hadn't turned Netflix on for a while, so I thought that maybe there'd be something new, something good hidden beneath the endless stream of garbage. And I just want to say, you Americans I hear complaining about getting the short end of the stick with Netflix. Well, down here in Australia, we don't even get the stick. Okay? So be grateful. Anyway, it turns out that I did find something pretty good and no one seems to be talking about it and I'm thinking, why? This show is a succinct and pertinent depiction of our times. I mean, I'd classify this as necessary viewing, honestly. Check this out. How far would you go? For your ideals. For our future. There's one wave. What am I supposed to do against a town full of racists on my own? You must feel guilty, right? You must! What's wrong with you? <laughs> you gotta stand up for yourself. I want to. Your new classmate starts today. Would you like to tell us a bit about yourself, Tristan? No. <laughs> you know that feeling? Like you're seeing things through a thick sheet of glass? Sometimes, you might have to just smash right through that glass. There's a few things we need to decide on, who we are and what we want. To victory. To victory. The more of us there are, the more we can achieve. And at some point, the wave will turn into a huge tsunami. Me again. Allow me to pick up where I left off. Who do you think you are? Spoiled kids. Too much to lose, I guess. I'm not scared, man. Recognize myself anymore, Tristan. You're not listening. You're not listening. All I want is justice. Listening. You're not listening. We are the wave. How? We Are the Wave is a German television adaption of the 1981 American novel The Wave, which is the retelling of an experiment done by a high school teacher on his history class. The Netflix series follows five misfit teens on the verge of adulthood as they evolve beyond the challenges of being unpopular and the targets of school bullies to become radical social justice warriors determined to expose and ultimately destroy corruption in modern Germany. We Are The Wave explores the radicalization process through a total of six episodes, beginning with some of the various ways in which today's teenagers can become disenfranchised and angry with society, and how these types of individuals can be drawn together. The writers have made no direct or overt comment on anyone's actions or the overall situation in Germany. Instead, we merely see results and consequences play out, leaving both the characters and the audience questioning what they truly believe and whether the ends justify the means. Leah Hurst is a wealthy, well-liked, high achiever, bored and frustrated by her monotonous and shallow routine. She longs for freedom and something different from the safe and polished life she's used to. This longing draws her to a mysterious new student, Tristan Brock. She becomes enchanted by his carefree ways and the wave becomes an obsession for all of them. And with little opposition, Leah's ideas and targets become more and more extreme. Tristan Brock is the new kid in school. He has obvious street smarts, but how he came to gain them and exactly where he comes from isn't explored until later in the season, though there are clues here and there. He serves as the spark that ignites the concept of the wave, as well as acting as the glue that holds the movement together. Rahim is a Lebanese immigrant living with his parents in an apartment building that has been sold on to developers. Construction is happening all around them and they find themselves at the mercy of the commissioners seeking to evict them. He and Tristan find common ground early on in the season and he's the first misfit to not reject Tristan's attempts to connect. Zazi longs for more than acceptance. She longs for an identity. She lives a quiet but sad life with her elderly grandfather and she finds meaning in expressing herself through her fashion and her drawings. In the wave, she finds the identity she has been looking for. The wave becomes everything to her. She quickly begins to descend down a dangerous spiral and we're never truly sure whether it's Hagen or Tristan at the center. Hagen is the quietest member of the wave and his loyalties are clear from the get-go. He finds himself drawn along in the current of life most of the time, helpless to change things, until his class takes an excursion to the paper factory one day and he snaps. When Tristan tells him he's impressed, it's not long before he's in the group too. At the end, we see a serious escalation, people's true feelings revealed. 
The events of the show echo what is occurring in a number of different countries around the world with groups such as Antifa. I checked the German news to see if this show was in response to current events there and this is what I found. Germany seems to believe the Nazis are a problem again. The country harbours extreme sensitivity and guilt over this from the past, and people are determined to abide by it never again. Considering all this, it's more than likely the series was made as a warning to people. Waves are great for gaining momentum, but be careful you don't get swept up in them. I really enjoyed this show, I thought it was fascinating and I absolutely recommend you guys check it out. That's the end of this video so thanks for watching. Now we're taking action and we're not asking for permission.